Hi there, hope everyone's doing alright. Basically, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for the positive comments and ratings on the last video I did about what it's like to live with autism. Um, I only put that video up just to let my subscribers know a bit about myself and also just to help me reevaluate the sort of person I was. But the, I'm glad to know that it helps educate people on what it's like to cope with autism, especially families who have autistic children themselves. So, yeah, well, it did make my day that I saw a lot of positive comments and ratings pop up on my YouTube channel. So, thank you. And it's um, also the reason why I decided to make this video as well, because a few people suggested that I should make a follow-up vlog on what's been going on in my life for the past three years. So, yeah, apologies if this drags on a bit as a disclaimer, but, yeah, I thought today's a good day, so why not do this video? Um, the first subject I want to talk about was my experiences at uni, because basically when I came out of uh, my secondary school slash sixth form, I ended up with average A levels, but it didn't matter so much because I still got into a decent university. And overall, it was a really, really good experience. I mean, the thing that helped me the most was how I was civil with lots of people, and that helped me choose which groups of people I wanted to make friends with because that was the mistake I made in back in secondary school where I tried to be friends with everyone and it really didn't work out that well if you yeah I kind of referenced that in my last video I'm an Aspie kid so you can watch that for like back reference if you'd like anyways um I like I digress slightly anyways um uni also helped me to become more independent since I moved away for the first and third year I commuted in second year but Living on campus, it helped me realise how I really do like being independent. And it also helped me broaden my horizons, meet different types of people, people as well. And it helped me form aspects of my character and just the way I think about things now as well. Also, it helped, also I learned a lot of social lessons as well, positive and negative. It's good to have negative social lessons in a way because you um, learn from your mistakes and you learn not to do it again in the future. So, you know, life's a learning curve and you learn something new every day, as they say. Um, oh yes, another subject I wanted to talk about was uh, graduate graduation. Yeah, so basically at the end of my third year, I received a 2-1. Well, hey. And I'll chase it here. Yeah, made my day it did. Bachelor of Science Sociology. And um, basically, um, at some point in early July, I was out in Selfridges with my family, and I was just browsing through certain ad items, as you do, and they um, they spotted me uh, looking for a certain book, and just on an impulse, they decided to purchase it for me. So I'll show it to you now. Here you go, since I'm a Bond fan myself. Here's a rather massive book, though, but hey, what do I know? I'm not a publisher. I'll show you a few pictures as well. From the Spy Who Loved Me. Good movie. Licence to Kill, first Bond movie I ever watched. That's how I got into James Bond and because of this guy here, Timothy Dalton. Good Bond, by the way. And where's another picture here? Oh yeah. And then there's Pierce Brosnan as well from GoldenEye, if you've ever played the N64 game as well. Good game, by the way. They, never, they don't make them like they used to anymore. <laughs> That's just me, though. <sighs> anyway, I kind of digress from that, but yeah, I just wanted to show you my early graduation present, which was a really bloody good find, actually. So, yeah, thanks to my mum and dad for getting it for me. Um, moving on, basically, I had my ceremony in July, and it was nerve-wracking at first because i just like to know when I'm attending these sorts of ceremonies and events I like to know what's going on and like how things will pan out but I didn't need to worry because eventually I just relaxed and it was a good ceremony of family and friends and I just it was a good celebration of the fact that I finished university successfully so yeah in summary I'm glad I graduated <clears throat> also what's another subject I want to talk about yeah, basically what I'm doing now is basically looking for jobs. I've been like forwarding CVs and cover letters to employers to 
employers and local agencies and the furthest I've got I mean I've had some interviews of local agencies and I've had some phone interviews I'm expecting another one soon from an organisation that my sister worked at because she worked in a social care organisation in Harrow so I'm hoping to get an interview there because I want to be busy from now onwards and earn a bit of money so I can't really sit on my arse all day so yeah I do want to keep busy basically and sort of the jobs I've been looking for anyways, I backtracked there slightly, but yeah, the jobs I've sort of been looking for during the summer is just like admin jobs and social care jobs, but I mean I've branched out a bit as well because I can't exactly be picky with looking for jobs, but you know, at least, at least I'm making the effort, so yeah, and trying to keep busy. Hmm. Another subject to talk about. Oh yes, um, on the music front, um, it's been a bit quiet these days, but uh, when I was at university I had a band called All The Rage, and originally I did want to start out being a metal band because I still listen to that sort of music. I mean, I like most types, but you know, I did really do still really like metal, metal as well. But yeah, we just ended up doing like alternative rock music with uh, acoustic elements in our sounds as well. And um, if you want to watch a previous YouTube video of me just like practicing some of their songs, it's called Riffs for my back new band that you need to see. Yeah, that was just me like sort of trying out their new songs and just like showing it to them. Only one of those songs, only one of the songs from that video was fully developed into a song. So that didn't make any sense, sir. Never mind. I mean, what I meant to say was only one song from that video was developed. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, and um, it was just mainly the three of us. Like I formed keyboards. Um, I had a singer who played guitar, and I had a guitarist as well. And we performed some small acoustic gigs last year at the local student union as well. Just the three of us, which was really good experience because I've never performed live before as well. And unfortunately, why we ended was because um, just the bassists and drummers who did jam with us, they um, they came and went. Like it was good jamming with them. They're really good musicians. But you know, if we had more people in the bands, then you know we could have been motivated to like um, keep on making music and performing. But anyways, life goes on, I suppose. And um, the other important reason was that the main guitarist he left to join his brother's bands as well. So that's why we kind of fell apart like last year in June. Yeah, that was when it happened. And yeah, I mean, I spent several weeks feeling, you know, downhearted, demotivated, and disappointed because I did have a lot of plans for all the ways to, you know, play lively, faster, heavier music. I mean, if we had more members, I mean, who knows how we could have turned out. And I was really looking forward to see how we would progress over the next, like, you know, five, six years or so. That's what I was expecting. But. That's just me anyways, but you know, I'm grateful nonetheless that I experienced the gigging, jamming and writing aspect of making music and I wish the I wish the other members no ill feeling as well. I mean, I'm still very good friends with them and I wish them luck with every future endeavour they've got. And basically in my third year of uni I did comp try and compensate for this with like um jamming with other musicians as well, but the reason why that didn't work out so well was the Musicians who did reply to my advert, they had to back out because they were busy doing uni work, and so was I as well. And the musicians who did stick with me for a bit, we just had a lot of creative differences. Like, yeah, it was fun jamming with them, but, you know, we just had, like, different interests musically, so that's why it just didn't really work out. Um, but, yeah, these things happen, and, um, yeah, I'd really, really like to get involved in music again, I mean, that's why I've been, that's why I've not been making as many music covers or practicing keyboards regularly, because I've just been like very demotivated on the music front, but I'd like to get the motivation back, you know, just gigging, writing and jamming again with like several musicians, it would just, I mean, I do practice keyboards now and again, but I mean, I like to practice more regularly as well, and just like, yeah, I would like to be in another band one day, as it, you know, it was really fun. So yeah, just we might, and if I do experience that stuff again, I may be able to put more music covers up and just practice more regularly. That's why my YouTube channel has kind of gathered dust, as it were, just on the video front. But anyways, <laughs> and um, 
Another final subject I wanted to talk about was uh, life in general. I mean, it's not been bad. I mean, yeah, it's not been bad at all. Sorry about that, just my camera just kind of died for a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's not been bad. I mean, I'm not going to, like, explain too much because I know YouTube does not like any drama, as it were. But, yeah, you know, I mean, I've had some good and bad moments, but, you know, fortunately I've had, like, family, friends and future aspirations to sort of compensate for the negative issues I've had. Like, I'm sure everyone's had a lot of social negative issues as well, socially, and other things, and just other aspects, you know, like work, family, stuff like that. So, yeah, <laughs> babbling on a bit. But the point I wanted to make was, I mean, I talk about the idea of compensation but it's a term I actually hold in high value now and it's the term I've been thinking about for like several several months I mean the way I look at compensation is if things in life are really bad I mean there's always something you could do to make up for it I'm not saying to become a massive homicide or become like a villainous mastermind I'm not saying that at all so don't get any ideas I know some people want to do it just you know no is bad but what I mean is you know what's a good example for this um yeah basically if you can't sing take up an instrument basically that sort of thing or if you're not good at one subject in school just make up for it by you know trying another subject you never know you could be really good at that as well or if you're not good at one sport try another sport well you know if you're not good at um what is it? Yeah. You know, those sorts of experiences, really. I mean, I could go on, but they would just get more weird and crazy. But, you know, you get the idea of what I'm trying to say about, you know, compensating for things. Because, uh, once again, like I said earlier, it's a term I hold in really high value as well. And, um, yeah, I'm just generally just, like, apart from looking for work, I'm just generally keeping my future ambiguous as well, because, you know, I never know what's going to happen in my future. I mean, I know that, you know, I will definitely will want to work in the social care because I do want to do that sort of thing. And I've also thought about being a counsellor one day as well because, you know, I might I may come across as eccentric and a bit weird. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've actually been known to be good at, like, helping certain types of people as well, which, which I think will be good because it would be good to pass on my experience as well. I think if I was going to be a counsellor I'd want to um, talk to people with like different mental health issues or just yeah different yeah basically talk to you know disabled people people with mental health issues that's the sort of types of people I'd like to focus on but yeah and um, this job that I may have with that my sister worked at I mean she works with like children from broken homes so you know, if I have that sort of experience, that will pay for future. That will pay for future to my pave way for my career aspirations in the future. <sighs> wow! Forgive me if I mumbled on that. I hope all of this made sense. By the way, um, what else do I want to say? Yeah. So basically, like I said earlier, I'm just sort of leaving certain things to fate. Really, just like meeting new people. In terms of meeting new people, and what my relationship will be to them. Like, you know, if I meet friends, of my own, if I meet people of my own gender, rather, will they be a friend or an enemy or a co-worker or manager? Who knows what? And the same with like um, women as well. I mean, will they be a friend? Will they be my boss, a manager? You know, will they be more than that, a girlfriend or? You know, I'm just sort of leaving these certain things to fate because if I expect too much, you know, it won't happen. So I'm just, yeah, so I'm just sort of going with the flow on these, in these sorts of aspects, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. Sorry if it was too long. Just wanted to make a general update of what's been going, over the par going on over the past three years. Sorry if I did mumble on this video a lot as well. I just get very... Um, nervous when I speak in front of the camera as well but I hope it all made sense and yeah <laughs> hope it all made sense hope it all made sense yeah hope it all made sense basically um, I'd like to return to making YouTube videos someday like making all music covers because you know it was it was fun well it, like, it was fun but I've just not had the time motivation and energy to do it so I like to get those three things back I mean especially on the music front I mean I 
really like to get involved with music again and hopefully that will motivate me to make put more music covers on YouTube again as well. So yeah, take care folks, have a good day.